So the first trailer for June 2020 has finally been released and we have an extended look at what Denis Villeneuve's film could be bringing this December. In the trailer we get some immersive footage of Arrakis, Caladan, the main characters and of course the sandworms. Now I will leave a link in the description if you haven't seen the trailer, but in this video, as the title suggests, I'm going to be giving you my breakdown and review of everything we saw. Before I get into it, if you want to see much more videos on June leading up to its release date, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoy this video, remember to give it a like rating. Without further ado, let's break down the first Dune trailer. Fans of Frank Herbert's novel have waited a long time for a screen adaptation of the huge science fiction story that will do it justice, and with the first trailer for Denis Villeneuve's film having finally arrived, well, this could be it. Covering the first half of Herbert's novel, Dune brings the desert planet of Arrakis, the house Atreides, the Fremen people, the precious spice and most importantly, those towering sandworms to the big screen in a blockbuster boasting a massive cast and helmed by the man who delivered two science fiction classics in Arrival and Blade Runner 2049. In this first footage, we get a visual odyssey of shots accompanied by Pink Floyd's song Eclipse, outlining the journey from Caladan to Arrakis and the struggles that Paul and his family are about to walk into. The opening minute of this trailer focuses on Caladan specifically, with shots from the scene with the Reverend Mother, which we saw in the teaser trailer, and also the Atreides getting ready to leave for Arrakis. We see them struggling to rule their own planet, and also Paul dreaming about Chaney a long time before he even comes into contact with her. It seems like they are going really deep into the lore of the Atreides and the influence of Greek mythology to really build up the characters and the house in general. I must say, during this whole Caladan sequence, which seems to cover a good chunk of the first act of the film, we get a difference in visual approach to what we get in the Arrakis sequences. The colours here seem to be more striking in comparison to what we get on Arrakis with its muted visual tone, which again is something that Denis Villeneuve is good at capturing. He uses atmosphere and lighting to really bring out the events taking place, and with these opening scenes involving a dark transition for the Atreides, he seems to have captured this perfectly. Also, it has to be mentioned that the Reverend Mother looks fantastic in the Box of Pain scene, which is one of my personal favourites from Book 1. The way that sound is used here to raise her voice and get inside Paul's head as he is screaming really conveys the fear which is being focused on. The Reverend Mother's costume design and presence is also something that looks to be commanding in the shots we get of her on screen, and I think it will be a great opening to this first film. We come to the end of this Caladan sequence with shots of the Duke comforting Lady Jessica at what seems to be Castle Caladan and Paul walking amongst the landscape of his planet with potential highliners in the sky. It all ends with the training scene between Paul and Gurney Halleck as shields are activated, which almost reminded me of the hologram effect that Villeneuve used in Blade Runner 2049 but here it does look more noisy in its visual aesthetic. We then begin to arrive on Arrakis. There's a brilliant shot of the landscape and the arrival of some of the main players in a scene that gives off a Lawrence of Arabia type of influence. We see Lady Jessica in her veil, Duke Leto, Paul and the Atreides land in the company of Duncan Idaho, engulfed by the surrounding ships including the Ornithopters. There is a brief shot of Javier Bardem's Stilgar taking off a mask which could be the Fremen watching them from a distance as they arrive. Then we get the opposite perspective with a broad shot of the Harkonnen army, a shot of Raban and of course the Baron himself. 
The few shots we do get of Stellan Skarsgård's character in this trailer really seem imposing and as the leaked description stated a few weeks ago, he looks demonic. This brief look is followed by Paul as he talks about the potential extermination of his family, with a brilliant cutaway to Dr. Yiu and his piercing diamond. In the midst of this, the Sardaukar use suspenser technology and Duncan Idaho slices his enemies through their shields. Now obviously at this point, the trailer does begin to skip between a lot of the middle of the story, but it does take us to the eventual meeting of the Fremen. We see Paul come in contact with Cheney, saying that he knows her, just like the dreams and visions earlier in the trailer point out. The music builds and we get explosive shots of the Sardaukar and Harkonnen attack on House Atreides in Arrakeen, highlighting how unprepared they are for what is about to happen. There's further a quick shot of the sandworm coming up from under the spice harvester, which we have talked about on the channel in the past, in relation to the images that were released, so it's great to finally see this sequence in action. During this, Paul is reaching down to help those in the incident, but like most of this trailer and in the book, his family is struggling to adapt and get through the deathly obstacles that stand in their way. After these few sequences, we begin to approach the end of the trailer with visceral shots of the insect-looking Fopters, the Harkonnens walking into battle and looking almost inhuman in their appearance, and Paul fighting a Fremen, who is potentially Jamis, soon after he arrives at their camp. We transition to quick shots overlaying the famous quote of Fear is the Mind Killer, which include Cheney, Paul flying the Fopter, his character being honoured by Duncan, and a first look at the Spice. This all builds towards the final scene in the first trailer, which is one we have all wanted to see. This includes the scaling introduction of the Sandworm. As Paul looks up at the towering worm, we see the terrifying size and number of teeth looking down at his character, and it really just echoes how big this film is actually going to be. Now, although we probably won't see a large number of scenes with the sandworms due to their limited appearance in the first half of the book, the scenes we do get of them seem to be absolutely breathtaking. If this first film is successful, I'm very intrigued to see how Denis will approach the scene with Paul riding a sandworm. I think it will be a Herculean task to pull off with visual effects, but I'm sure that the director will take as real as an approach he can to capture moments like this. Overall, this first trailer was pretty incredible, delivering over three minutes of footage that ranges from being huge in scope to also intimate and reflective on the themes of Herbert's novel. Even though I would have loved to have heard more of Hans Zimmer's score, I think the song choice they used was appropriate and also grand in its link to the imagery on screen. This definitely seems much more mainstream in its approach than I was expecting for a Denis Villeneuve film, however when tackling something like Dune, the director and his team definitely need to attract audiences on a bigger surface. This is what they are doing and the spectacle looks larger and grounded than a lot of films I have seen more recently. Again, I love the atmosphere and visual tone he is going for, making Arrakis appear muted and realistically deadly, just like it was conveyed in the novel, along with a mystical touch that will only help come the second film. The performances also look great, especially with Timothy Chalamet and the brief looks at Stellan Skarsgård standing out. I think the director and his cast have really committed themselves to capturing a story that is all about a boy having to become the leader of his failed house. All in one package though, this trailer has delivered in marketing a Denis Villeneuve film, but also the intriguing and unusual aspects of the famous novel. I can't wait to see how the tone of the film complements what we saw in this trailer and also what we get in the coming months leading up to the film's release. But let me know down below what your reaction was to watching the first full-length trailer for Denis Villeneuve's Dune. 
For more videos surrounding the build up to June 2020, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating. I will be uploading my analysis for book three in the next few weeks, alongside keeping you up to date on all the latest news and information surrounding the film in the coming months. I will also be announcing my Road to June series, where I will cover the films of Denis Villeneuve and produce video essays on previous adaptations of the science fiction novel. So look out for all of this content coming very soon. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.